Laura Harris. I'm the reference and instruction librarian at Iowa School of Theology. I'm also the archivist. And I've seen this wooden cabinet on the bottom shelf of one of our rows of shelving in the archives for many years. Since I've been here, I've been here almost eight years. And I've always wondered what this mysterious thing was. And today, Mike found a page in the annual conference journal mentioning a gift of a portable organ. And I had this revelation. I thought, oh, I think I know exactly where that is. That's what that strange thing is. And so Mike and Scott and I pulled it out of, out of the archives room and set it up here in our reading room. And this is just uh, really exciting to me to find out what this is and the story behind it. In the Rocky Mountain Methodist Annual Conference in 1967, the Historical Society reports that during the year the records of Wyoming Methodism were found in the Wyoming State Archives, and through the work of Dr. Martin Rist, these documents were microfilmed. In addition, Dr. Rist received an organ which once belonged to B.T. Vinson, brother of an early Methodist bishop and noted early minister of the Colorado region. The organ is portable and was sent by a descendant of the Vincents who lived in Pennsylvania. James Bratton, professor of hymnology at the Lamont School of Music, restored the instrument and told something of its type and value to the Historical Society. It makes a valuable addition to the archives. So we're, sh uh, we're showing that this is dates to about 1903. It's a free reed wind instrument with a keyboard. And it's known as a melodeon. They were first made with a force system of bellows similar to harmoniums, but after a short time the exhaust system was adopted. 